Sullivan Rain here working on the John Deere 2510 here again today. And if you watched uh, last episode there, working on manufacturing a bracket here so we can take our fuel filter and uh, move it from uh, somewhere about in here to somewhere about in there. And uh, yeah, between uh, videos here, I did uh, go ahead and paint this uh, part here. I uh, just slapped some uh, green paint on it here. Uh, last time I was at the John Deere dealer here, I did pick up uh, a can of green and yellow spray paint there just you know, so I can like, do quick stuff like this. So yeah, I got that uh, painted green here. I should probably, I'm gonna have to set this here somewhere because I'd like to get the cab out here, everyone. And uh, I bought a couple more cans of kind of off-white paint there. And we'll see if we can uh, paint the inside of this here uh, today. At least that was my uh, plan anyway. Uh, again, I, went, I didn't bother really taking the time to sand down the inside here. Some of the inside, <laughs> I don't know who painted this, but ooh, they, they were sloppy. They made a mess. Uh, I did actually start to sand this. And then I realized, you know, what's the point? I, I plan on covering it all anyway. So yeah, I figured, meh. Didn't bother. Uh, I did go ahead and like sand this here, everyone. Like I said, this might be a little more visible, so I did sand that uh, on the inside, at least where I could anyway, because you know, like right there, I can't really get in there. But oh well, I did sand that. Um, uh, I did sand the outside here as well. I did do that. I'm debating if I should go a little bit more here yet, sand a little more, but I, I think that's uh, pretty good. Uh, you know, again, I when I brushed it on, so it's not going to be perfect. Uh, you know, typically spray it on is going to be a little bit smoother finish, but. Yeah, I think we're going to get this uh, dragged out here. Uh, like I said, I'd like to let that dry a little bit more before I put it on the tractor, although it is probably pretty good. It's been sitting there for a couple hours here now. Uh, basically, as soon as I got home from work, I slapped the paint on it, and then, uh, yeah, it's been sitting there for a little bit now. So, uh, and for that matter, everyone, too, I don't have the uh, copper line I need yet so to, to uh, redo the uh, fuel line, so I can't do that until I get the uh, copper line. So, again, really no, uh, no big hurry there. Again, we need a... Basically, instead of uh, one that's going to go up to here, it's going to only go to here now. And then, of course, uh, we'll need this one. It's going to have to go from here all the way back around to the other side. Plus, everyone, I uh, don't know if we'll get this far here or not, but uh, probably going to rip the hood back off here again. I know I mentioned this, everyone, when I put the hood back on. It's like, boy, I, I think I'm done here. I don't think I need to leave the hood off. But uh, no, I no sooner had the hood on, everyone, then I realized, you know what? Yes, I do want to have the hood off because I want to get some sound deadening material in here yet. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I suppose I could maybe try to work on it without the hood there, but I, I think it's easier. We'll just pull the hood back off. Um, it's not that big of a deal. The exhaust is fairly easy to get off. This is what sucks to get off, the pre-cleaner, everyone. Uh, there's just no room to get your hand up under there to get that off. So that, that's, that's the one that sucks to get off. So anyway, let's get this uh, pulled off. We'll paint this here first and then uh, go from there. And yes, everyone, I did check the weather here. There's absolutely nothing on the forecast or the radar for rain, but uh, it does look a little sketchy out there. I think we're going to try to go for it here anyway, but uh, yes, I, I am aware of it. And like I said, I did, did check the radar here, but I don't know. Debatable. <laughs>
underestimated how much paint I was gonna need here. I bought uh, three cans of paint for this, and I think I kind of alluded to this last video. It's like, it doesn't look like you have that much to paint here, but when you start painting all this, everyone, it, it takes a little bit. And I noticed the lens looked a little dirty here, so I washed that off here a minute. Uh, so yes, I, I'm out of paint here, everyone. Uh, I had one can of paint left over for that. I had four cans of paint there. I had one can left over. I, I guess I estimated that one pretty close. And technically, I probably should really put that fourth one on there. I can see it's a little thin in spots. Uh, I'll see once. Maybe I'll get, uh, maybe throw another coat on that. You can see it like down there too. It looks a little thin. But uh, yeah, definitely need some more paint for this here, everyone. Uh, I, I got pretty much all the, uh, like the structure here painted. The uh, sides here, I did not. And then, uh, of course, for the, uh, the those covers there, too, I did not get those painted. But uh, everything visible here uh, should be uh, painted, or everything that might potentially, I think, be visible should be painted. So technically, I could probably throw any color I want in there. Again, I'm mean, I plan on covering all this, so. But I, I do want to have paint on it, and if uh, anything is visible, I do want it to look eh, as, nicely, as nice as we possibly can reasonably do, so. Anyway, one, yeah, that's gonna do it for the paint for that. Like I said, I'm gonna have to get some more uh, paint here. Uh, I think what I'm gonna move on to here next, I'm gonna get the uh, hood off of here, which is gonna require moving the exhaust and the uh, pre-cleaner. Uh, I don't know, do you folks wanna see that? I mean, I've done it a couple times already, I think, so. Maybe I'll just do that real quick off camera here. I'd be interested to see how the uh, foam underneath here is holding up. Seems like it's been pretty good here so far from my checking. And uh, I don't know if we'll get to it here tonight, but uh, maybe I'll at least uh, start working on it. Uh, get the uh, sound proofing in here on those panels as well, start to start working on that. And then maybe I'll have to tidy up some of the wiring here too, maybe we'll get to that as well, see once. Well, that one that doesn't look quite as nice anymore, does it? Oh well, uh, just out of curiosity, I was looking at this. Uh, I don't see any uh, signs of it melting there at all, so I think that's a, that's a pretty good sign. I was a little curious, you know, if this was maybe gonna be a little too close to the muffler there. It looks like we could have gotten even closer everyone, and still been fine. Uh, I think that's where the radiator sits in there. Uh, maybe I should like trim a little of that out. Uh, I noticed too, we got, looks like a mark with a wire there. I was looking at this. I'm going to have to see if I can reroute this uh, wire. Uh, get that. It was actually laying on top here and I didn't realize that. I thought it was all laying across here, but yeah, definitely going to want to reroute that a little bit. Maybe get it along the side here. Probably along the side here would probably be better. Get it tucked in there. I don't know. Do something better with that. And uh, yeah. But anyway, everyone, like I said, I'm going to start uh, seeing what I can do here now. Get some soundproofing in there, and then uh, the side panel, I set it down under there. Uh, we'll glue some uh, insulation, the same stuff I got there on insulation, uh, sound paneling inside those panels as well. Well, there we go, everyone. I think that with that, we're going to wrap this uh, video up here for now. Got uh, got those glued on the side panels there on uh, both ones. So that should be uh, pretty good, I think. And, uh, yeah, as far as painting here goes, everyone, uh, I went on Amazon there real quick just to see once, uh, how much some more uh, paint would cost. Actually, uh, surprisingly, it's a couple dollars. Well, maybe I shouldn't say surprisingly. It's a couple dollars cheaper on Amazon. Uh, than it is if I buy in the hardware store. And the hardware store is out of this color, by the way, because uh, someone bought like six cans of it. Did I have, or no, did I have seven cans? I might have had seven cans, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, six or seven cans. So yeah, everyone, I'm gonna get another uh, six six cans here. Of course, I'm gonna have to wait for Amazon to deliver that, so it'll be a couple days yet. 
But uh, when they do, got six more cans on one. I'm figuring I should probably put a little more paint on that yet because uh, if you look, you can see a couple spots. That are, eh, they look a little bare yet. You know, again, it's not a super dark color. So, and, and again, have a, most of this is going to be covered, so it doesn't really super matter. But uh, still, I think I'd like to get a nice good coat of paint on there if I can. Uh, with the cab here, again, pretty much just uh, this here and then the same thing on this side that needs to be painted. Pretty much everything up top here should be pretty good. Probably don't really need to coat that again. Uh, I really tried to get that good. So anyway, on that note, everyone, I think with that, like I said, we're going to wrap this uh, video up here. Oh, yes. Uh, shop space has been taken up here a little bit. I uh, wonder what's going on here, everyone. Well, let's just say the uh, the shingles on the shop here, the barn, are looking a little tough. Just a little tough. They need to be replaced. So that's uh, going to be coming up here in the next uh next couple weeks here not sure how much of that i'll video if any of it but uh yeah we'll be doing that so i got everything uh everything's here for that i believe uh drip edge and shingles and yeah fun fun job fun job everyone so uh anyway thanks for watching everyone and uh until next time